hello and welcome to this uh, new video in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, enable or disable the SE Linux either uh, permanently or temporarily so first of all what is SE Linux? SE Linux is a security mechanism built into the Linux kernel Linux distributions such as CentOS, Red Hat, and Fedora are equipped with SE Linux by default. For example, this machine is a CentOS 7 machine, CentOS 7 machine, sorry, and it is uh, equipped with SE Linux by default. By default, it is enabled. SE Linux improves server security by restricting, restricting and defining how a server processes requests and users interact with sockets, networks, ports, and essential directories and files. SE Linux can restrict access to certain areas of the system and it can also uh, prevent installation of software packages or uh, terminating processes during uh, regular use of the system. SE Linux has three modes of uh, running the first mode is enforcing mode the second mode is permissive mode and the third mode is disabled mode of course the, the enforcing mode is the default mode and it blo and, and it blocks uh, actions that are against the defined policies of se linux and uh, vice versa the disabled mode is is the mode that allows all actions uh, and it does not log the, uh, the activities and the permissive mode it allows the actions and at the same time it logs uh, those actions of course it is not r recommended to disable SE Linux and the permissive mode is only used when testing some features so it is rare to find a production uh, Linux server that has SE Linux uh, disabled so let's say we want to check the status of, of SE Linux on this Linux machine. So the command that we would use is SE status. SE status. So when you look at the line current mode, this is the status of SE Linux. And as you can see, it is enforcing, which means it is enabled and preventing any uh, action that is against the uh, defined policies of SE Linux. To change the status of SE Linux, we need to uh, edit the file located at this location forward slash etsy forward slash SE Linux forward slash config. So you can edit this file using nano or vim as you wish. So I can use Vim to edit this file and this is the line that I need to edit to change the mod. So let's say I want to change this enforcing to uh, disabled. So I delete enforcing and I type disabled and then escape colon x to save the changes. If I open the file again you can see that the changes have been saved. Okay. If I do now SE status, it is still enforcing, although I changed it in this file, because I need to reboot my machine to apply the changes. So I do sudo reboot to reboot my machine. Well, I didn't have to do sudo because I am r uh, running the command as uh, root but that's okay if you are using a sudo uh, user you can do sudo now that my machine is rebooted I can do se status and as you can see it is uh, disabled so a reboot is required every time we change the status of se Linux okay let's uh, change the mod back to enforcing so 
I would need to uh, edit the file forward slash etsy forward slash se linux forward slash config go to this line change to edit mode and delete disabled and put enforcing Save the changes and exit. Ah, I forgot to, to uh, open this file as a root, so I'm going to change the user to root. Then open the file again. Now I can change the file. Enforcing, okay. Make sure I have no typos, okay. But still, if I do as a status, I'm going to get disabled. Why? Because obviously, I need a reboot, okay. So let's reboot the machine. So now that my machine is rebooted, I'm going to open the terminal zoom a little bit and do se status and as you can see it is enabled it is in enforcing mode okay so we have seen how to uh, enable and disable the uh, se linux now how to disable it temporarily uh, uh, and put it in the permissive uh, mode which means that it's going to allow all the actions but it's going to log everything okay so the command to do this is and be aware that you you can only put se linux in per permissive mode if you are in enforcing mode you cannot be in disabled mode and put it in uh, permissive mode okay the command is set enforce zero Sorry, I forgot to <laughs> change again to root. Okay, I'm root now. So set enforce zero. Now SE Linux should be in permissive mode. So if I do SE status, as you can see, it is in permissive mode. To put it back into enforcing mode, you do set enforce one. And if I do as is status again, it is in enforcing mode. So as a conclusion, if you want to go from enforcing to permissive or from permissive to enforcing, you do uh, set enforce zero or one. If you want to go from uh, enforcing to disabled or from uh, disabled to enforcing, you can do it via the, the file. Uh, the config file that I showed you earlier, but you have to reboot. So this is in conclusion what we have seen in this video. I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.